r slash askreddit. Dog owners of Reddit, would you cut of five years of your own life and give these to your dog? If so, why? Possibly but only if I could find out what age I was meant to die first. It would be a cruel twist if I agreed to this. Only to find out that I was meant to die less than five years from now and not get to spend any more time with my dog. I like how as dog owners we are all very aware of potential stipulations. Is it five healthy years? Do we know I won't die before those extra years run out? The worst would be dying and your dog having to go to a shelter. No. It would be like adding 35 years to my dog. He is 14, blind and clearly suffering to old age. I couldn't do that to him. One has to assume five healthy years for your dog for this question. If you could have inserted five extra years into your dog's life before he was affected by old age, would you give him five healthy years of your own life? Yep of course. Imagine trying to do this deal only to find out that you have insufficient credits. And then the dog comes up to you and offers his years to you. Was I a good boy? You were the best, but your time here isn't finished yet. The question is then how many days you're lacking. Guess you'd need to live like every day is the last one. Always have a backup dog. Life for me isn't worth living without a dog. So keep them coming. There's plenty more dogs that also need you. Edit. Of course no dog can ever replace the dog you have now or had previously. That's stupid. The point was to always have a dog. Some people's lives depend on them. Would you jump out of an airplane with only one parachute? Of course not. Because you could easily die. That's why people have a backup. Thinking that there's always going to be a dog out there who needs me and whose life I can make better is honestly what keeps me going most days. No I would not. I love my dog. But she will have her own years and I will have mine. Thanks for the small grain of sanity you offer in this thread. I think it's extremely superficial to give your pet five years of your life. What comes after that? You acquire another dog, another pet, and you're gonna love it the same way you loved your previous pet. It's just how pets are. How it affects our weirdly wired brains. Everyone has that one pet though. The one that is yours and teaches you what a human, animal bond does. This pet is different. You love it stronger. I have this animal now. I raised it from a week old baby. Bottle fed and all. I would give five years for this animal. Because she is mine in an irreplaceable way and I love her more than anything else. But not the next one I get. Absolutely man. Mine died last year and it sucked. She was there from freshman year of HS through. Lot of formative years where she was a constant. But it's my life. She had hers. I might get stoned for this. But no, I love my three dogs dearly. And I will do so for the rest of their lives. To give each of them five years would mean 15 years less of mine. 15 years is another dog's lifetime. In 15 years I can have more sweet pups and thus save more dogs' lives as I only take from shelters or from the roadside. So being selfish and keeping the ones I love now for longer and letting future pups who need love as well die too soon or all alone. No. Let my darlings live their lives out happily. I will miss them all. But there is always another that need love again. That's my opinion. So no. I don't see why you'd get stoned for that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Whips a stone. The tears in my eye are really throwing off my aim. Couldn't agree more. I feel like this argument also applies to people who clone their pets. Why spend all that money when there are so many pets without homes who would ultimately bring equivalent joy to your life if you just allow it? I really don't know. I hate your question. Take your upvote and duck off. I don't even own a dog and this question hurts me. It hurts all of us dude. It's really a tough choice to make considering the fact that you will have to explain it to your family members. Children, if you have that you are going to give up five years. Does your children, wife, husband not love you as much as you love your dog? Why not think about them? Look, you get up to 100 years. What's five to lose to give to your best friend? 
You could die at 32 and then bam. You just shaved off five of those. I think of not being able to spend five more years with my wife. I too would like an extra five years with this guy's wife. Nope. There's a few reasons but at the end of the day my wife and family are much more important. I've had several dogs over the years and am currently looking for another and they're amazing animals and I absolutely hate having to go through losing them but the expectation is that you'll outlive your pets. I'd rather spend those last five years with my wife by my side. Drinking JMOs and gingers. Driving carts around in our senior community on our way to play shuffleboard with our friends. Same here, I love my dog, but I would never take years away from a life spent with my daughter and husband. Sorry buddy, but they come first. My dog can still live out a normal, happy life in the years he's been given. Does it work the other way around too? Can I kill puppies to gain extra life for myself? Better delete this comment before John Wick sees it. John Wick enters. Inserts pencil in Op's head and pulls the balls off. John Wick leaves. John Wick 5. Puppy Mania. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help the channel by smashing the like button and subscribing for more daily content.